Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg. I appreciate you joining me for this head and face shave. And I want to see if you all had a good Christmas. Hope you all enjoyed your family and friends, had a good meal, received plenty of gifts, and just had a good time. Because it's a time to celebrate family and friends, and just to enjoy their company. All right. I had a good time. Um, I had enough food for 40 people. I only had seven adults and two kids here. Uh, we're going to be eating leftovers for the next couple months. So, me and my girlfriend. Anyways, today's razor. Let me do something real quick. Today's razor. The leaf thorn. This is a good razor. The only thing I really don't like about it is this 50 twists to get it to completely open and turn turn open. Then of course you have another 50 twists to get it closed. I'm sure you could have done better with the gearing leaf and gotten it less turns. Today's soap, one I haven't used in a while, one I really enjoy. Is the Forger Gothic by Barrister and Man? This is the Omnibus base, which is Tello. Um, if you can see that, you want to pause it and read it. That's the ingredient list, guys. That's how much crap is in this soap. Yeah, Will at Barrister and Man does not hold back. This soap opens with the scent of black ashes, bergamot, lavender, and cedar. And they list it as heart, which is the middle notes of sandalwood, geranium, leather, tuberose, and burning wood. The base is mushroom, oak moss, tonka, velveter, smooth musk, and balsam fir absolute. Okay. When I smell this soap, first punch off the nose is oak moss straight oak moss let it settle a little bit I pick up bergamot and cedar and leather maybe a little bit of sandalwood I do not pick up lavender at all all right, yeah, I pick up the ball, the balsam fir too, but it's very complex scent. It's it's dark. If you don't like dark scents, you will not like that soap. And yes, I have a splash for it. The only thing I don't have, well, I don't even know if they made a balm. When I bought this, they didn't have a balm for it. I don't know if they have one now, but they have an EDP for this, which I would like to get, but it's kind of expensive. I think it was $89 for a small bottle. They only have one size but bottle, but it's not that big. Brush today is just a no-name 22 millimeter badger and my Indian hand carved, supposedly sandal sandstone shave bowl. Got that much soap because we're doing a head and face shave. And we're gonna whip it up. Guys, you ever been, I'm sure a lot of you have been just so whipped, so wore out, so tired, you, you didn't even feel like eating. That's how I was Monday afternoon. After cooking all day Saturday, Sunday, and then as prep, I mean, I, I did a lot of baking and cooking of stuff that I could cook ahead of time. And then cooking the ham, the lasagna, pudding other things together, cooking them on Monday so I get dinner on the table by 3 o'clock I was whipped I was just physically drained I had a little bit of salad a couple of corn, honey cornbread muffins and a small piece of lasagna and I was 
done. I didn't even have my garlic bread with my lasagna. I was just done. It was like I sat down to have the salad. And the moment I sat down because everything was done. All the food was done. We did buffet style. My table's not big enough to have all those people around it plus all the food on it. I've lined it all up in the kitchen. Grab your plate. Go in and help yourselves to whatever you want. I sat down to have my salad and I was just drained. I was Once I sat down, it was like all the pressure was off. All the, all the stress just from doing it all just hit me because I was done. And I didn't have to do any more. And I knew that. My body knew it. And it was just... went to bed early that night I think we went to bed nine o'clock and I passed the hell out and I didn't wake up until my alarm went off at 750 in the morning I was just wore out I'm sure some of you have been there just so exhausted that couldn't eat. This is. You see the droopy peaks? I hope. Can't tell. That's perfect for me. And to top it all off, I think I told you guys this before. My daughter's gift, I paid extra to have expedited shipping on it. So it would get here by Christmas, and it didn't arrive until yesterday. So I sent the company an email saying, I want the extra I paid back for the expedited shipping. They have a standard shipping price, that's fine. But then there was to get it expedited, you had to pay extra. And I did because I want to make sure I got it by Christmas. And I didn't. And I haven't heard back from them. So, that's the way that goes. It's one of those, you already paid You already paid your money, tough shit. Like I said, guys, I always say I have Tourette's. Excuse the French. Oh, the blade in here is, is a, this is a third use on this Statum blade. I think I got the other half of the blade right here. I keep it in the box with the razor. One more use of this raise. Well, actually, after I do my face, that'll be the fourth use, so that'll be it on this half of the blade. Four uses, and I'm done with it. Whether it could go six, seven, eight, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Four uses. I got enough blades that four uses is plenty. I don't have a regular twig, I can't compare it. The thorn to the twig. I don't think I'll ever get a regular twig. Unless I find somebody selling a used one somewhere real cheap. But this is a very efficient razor. It's a great shaver. want my honest opinion I think it's a better head shaver than the, than the leaf even though you have to maintain a shaving angle with it but you can tell how much pressure you are applying to the razor with the thorn over the leaf. The leaf's problem, because it has the pivoting head, is determining exactly how much pressure you're putting on it. Because that head will pivot till it reaches its limit of travel if you keep applying pressure to it.
And this, being a solid head, does not. You just have to make sure you hold the proper angle to shave with. How many of you people had a problem on Christmas Day? Where it was warm out, and then of course you have an oven on in the small house, which is heating up the small house, and you got seven adults in there and two children throwing off heat, that you had to turn the AC on on Christmas. I am not looking forward to New Year's. I'm not going out. I never do. I haven't gone out for New Year's since before I was 30. So it's been almost 30 years. I just... I call it amateur night. That's when all your amateur drinkers the ones that don't drink that often are out and on the roads and I am not dealing with that Very, very strong scent of moss, oak moss, in this house, in this bathroom right now. That's good. Yeah. Let's just sit here real quick. Besides the fact my dog does not like fireworks, New Year's Eve, I'm going to have to take her out early before it gets dark to make sure she goes, oh, got myself in the back of the head somewhere. So that she can go to the bathroom before the night's over. The home-like shave elm stick. one way to find out in the back of your head where you cut yourself. 
I got myself right there too, didn't I? Okay. I got my glasses on. I thought that was just a shadow, but it might have been blood. Okay. Whew. So, did you all get what you wanted from Santa? Oz man bring you the things you wanted and did you go by the rule of three or the rule of four for Christmas gifts I think I talked about this last time rule of three is baby Jesus got three gifts when he was born the rule of four is something you need something you want something to wear and something to read those are the, generally the, the rules we always did with the kids. We always went, is there money still in the wallet? Eh, we can buy more gifts. That's how we always did the kids. I think a lot of people do that with the kids. And for adults, I know the common thing anymore is for people to set a spending limit. time very efficient razor blame the razor on that. That would be my fat face. Either that or just pulled on the skin a little bit. Can you hear that feedback? Can you hear that? I hope you can. See, I got this ridge right here, and it's still there a little bit when you pop the cheeks. Oh, this stuff is warm. If you like a warm leather shave, do not discount the cheap coffee cup heater the little heating element, little heating pad, hot plate for a coffee cup or a small coffee pot. Put your bowl on it before you shower. Let it warm up. You get out, put your soap in it, let it warm up while you set everything else up. And then when you go to shave and you'll whip your lather, as you're shaving, it'll get hotter. I mean, you could whip your lather up prior to, then set everything up. But I don't want to risk it 
dissipating. I don't think I have to worry about it, but just a concern I have. Because most of your good artists and subs won't dissipate that quick. Yeah, I know I only catch a few notes of it, but I still love it. Because you guys know I like my dark scents. Can I ask you guys something? Where the hell did this year go, huh? We're almost at the end of it. Where the hell did it go? If you guys that are my age or older or getting close to my age know, older you get, the faster the years go. It's a long climb to get to middle age. It's a slow climb. Then once you get there and cross over the peak, it's like the picking up speed going downhill, baby. mark right here. The Concord gave me that one. I'm surprised. Usually get nothing from the Concord as far as marks go. Or as far as blood goes. I want to see something. is not playing well with others. I'm looking for something for you. Let's see. Hey y'all. Apologize. My um, battery in my camera died. And I wasn't going to wait for it to recharge to finish the shave. It was almost done anyways. I had a little bit of cleanup I usually have to do right here, which is smooth now. And I did my normal alum witch hazel aftershave and balm afterwards aftershave balm good shave i like the twig thorn it's a good razor that's all i'm gonna say sorry it happened but things happen you know i just thought i'd let you know what happened it did just cut off it did just cut off on me i was right in the middle of talking gone anyways y'all take care I'll see you again soon uh, before New Year's Eve, before New Year's. So I'll see you then. Take care out there. Have fun.